two Oscar winners are set to make a splash this weekend with Joker Folia De projected to debut at $140 million. Joaquin Phoenix, of course, reprises his role as the infamous supervillain alongside Lady Gaga, who will be playing Harley Quinn. I sat down with Lady Gaga in L.A. Take a look. With you. For once in my life, I didn't feel so alone anymore. I now understand why this is a musical. Uh, it, it makes so much sense. How essential was music in telling the story and for you bring this character to life? You know, I think that the music in this film was extremely important to Todd. And, you know, I just wanted to be a part of executing his musical vision yeah. and um, give him everything that he needed to work with. Um, so. You know, I think I was definitely attracted to, you know, the way that music is, it creates this possibility to communicate that, you know, you can't do with just words. Yeah. And, uh, you know, an interesting way to tell this story. It's like, it's not just that there's music in the movie, no. it's the way that we use music in the movie. It's kind of the blurring of reality and fantasy, um, not just in the circumstances of the moment, but also in the way that mm -hmm. we're singing and the way that music, um, it, like sort of presents itself. Yeah, no, it, it just, it conveyed so many different emotions. It was so effective. Uh, now that I want more of your Harley Quinn, just because I'm, I'm, uh, I just want more, and it's so good, would you ever consider a standalone film if the, if the opportunity presented itself? I mean, I think so. Yeah? Yeah, I love her. I love her so much. I think she's like, she's, she's everything she wants to be whenever she wants to be it. I think, you know, She's a beautiful female character, even in all her complications and yeah. uh, all the things that are not so you know, great about her, too. I think you know, sometimes when we see a woman go through hard things, it like helps us understand ourselves better. So I would, I would definitely love to do that. So my next question is going to be, what did you learn about yourself while bringing this character to life, do you think? I think I really learned, how, you know, I really learned that um, when I got to the heart of who she was, she was really scared. Yeah. And I think I realized that there's been moments like in my life where I was like really, really afraid yeah. and that like that fear can actually can propel you into your, you know, your own madness. And uh, it made me love her. Um, it also made me like um, want to make her something that a woman could go to the theater and say, you know, I see myself in this person or I understand this. Um, I think it's like also something women talk about all the time, right? Like like when we when we like make our life a man, right? Like it's like something we judge ourselves for. It's something that changes us. Love, love is like, you know, it's like its own version of insanity. So I, 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 I tried to really, you know, I tried to build her soul around her obsession. And, and the, the, the and, and then I think I connected that to the fear. Like what was she afraid of that made her do that and I have all sorts of answers for that. <laughs> Listen, that was such a wonderful answer. Thank you so much. I just want to show you how much I love the character Harley Quinn. Full you on. Inspired me so much to dress up as your version. I absolutely just adore her. Thank you. I do. You did such a wonderful Thank job. Thank you. Joker Falia De hits theaters this Friday.